What does it mean that a whole area of research is not investigated for 30 years? There's a reducing valve that we normally have in order to function, and it restricts our sensory awareness, it restricts our perception, it restricts our emotions. Psychedelics tend to open the valve. It's impossible to convey what that experience is like in words. I simply experienced that I was more than Jim Fadiman, a larger vision. Our culture is somewhat rare, actually, cross-culturally. Actually, some 90% of the world's cultures have access to and use altered states of consciousness and often use psychedelics for that purpose. So you approach them honorably and respectfully. You never approach them for avoidance or recreationally. The classic hallucinogens are LSD, psilocybin, DMT, and mescaline. We know from the 1960s that millions of kids took these compounds. There was a media sensationalism which emphasized the tragic effects and gave almost no attention to the clinical uses and the therapeutic power of these substances. You have to really re-educate people to understand that a lot of the hype that they heard from the media was just, it was hype. It was blown up out of proportion. So it's only recently that our laboratory and other laboratories have been able to seek and get approval to reinitiate this research, and it's very exciting. One of our participants was a woman in her middle 50s, and she didn't know how long she had to live. Four hours in to the session, I asked her, you know, how are you doing? And she said, it feels like healing. If people have chronic anxiety about something or depression, it may be that we'll find treatments so that people don't have to be on antidepressants for years and years and years. Maybe there will be a single or two or three treatments that we can give with a psychedelic that will take care of that. This research has the potential to open us to new understandings about the mind, about spirituality, about religion, about human potentials and capacities. Altered states of consciousness is one of the things that we're given access to by being human. And the cultures that have discovered various ways of doing it have made that an important part of their culture. It really does release the barriers to love and release the barriers to actualizing potential.